Hey people, this week I finally finished a project that I've worked on for a little bit. I really wanted to bring together a recipe that had two separate forms of wild harvest in it. And it came together nicely. I've got a wild pork and yabby paella. That's wild pork turned into kranskis and yabbies in their delicious natural self. Anyway, see what you reckon. I'm glad I put it together. Man, it tastes good. Give it a try yourself if you want some time. goal today is actually just to get one good sow if I can. Hell, I'll shoot more, but I just, one sow. Hopefully not too big and old. Just right now with all the feed around, my presumption is that they'll be very fat. And I want to turn that little piggy into sausages, Kranskis, to be specific. Geez, that should have been all pretty easy, but then there were just so many kangaroos around. And I could already see the ones in the, I don't know, on the, um, the tree line. I could probably get eyes on me and a few were moving off, because normally they should be moving down. Oh, looks like one shot's dropped him. I'm pretty sure it's a boar. Oh, he had a dip, so. Probably means it's a boar. I was keen for a sow, but not passing up pigs. That's not a bad pig. Very good. Very good pig. It's got that Euro look to it. It was a quartering shot, like it was facing away from me properly. Bang, it's gone hit in the shoulder there. Folks, look how green it is all around here. Don't see any evidence of ticks. The animal is, is plump. Folks, I'm gonna completely butcher this pig. Gut it out, hang it up overnight, and I'm gonna have a crack at making Kranskis with it. That's what I'm gonna do. I wanna emphasize, folks, I am not an expert in animal health. I don't have the right to give you guys advice. I can explain my process, guys, and why I think this is a healthy animal. First of all, it's overall health. It is a plump animal. It's looking well. There's no strange lesions on it, discolorations on it. From the outside, it's looking healthy. I'm not noticing an excess of, of ticks around or heaps of insects or anything like that. But the third thing I'm gonna do is when I gut this in a second, is I'm gonna check the liver, and I'm gonna check the lungs and the other organs for signs of abnormality. Now, does that mean that I 100% know? No, it doesn't. But it's enough for me to be confident. That's my choice. This is not advice. You guys have to go away and make your own choice on those things. But one thing I'm gonna do as well is gonna make sure that any meat that I'm taking from this there's no serving it rare, there's no serving it pink. The reason I want to put it into Kranskis is because I have the means then to cook it 100% of the way through. And that's another level of me feeling confident about my safety in eating this animal.
very good. And up the garden path we go. Just a bit pooped. Dragging them up like that. There's an intelligent way of me to sort out the next kilometer and a half, which does not me, involve me dragging him. I'm gonna be back here in about half an hour. There above the shoulder. So, I wanted to do this for a bit. I'm gonna make Kranskis today, and I'm assembling a whole heap of equipment to get it all together, but I guess the star attraction is the wild pork from the wild boar. What I've got here is predominantly from the shoulder and up the back of that boar. Um, because there's just a really good ratio and a good consistency of the fat there. The amount of fat in this mix, I reckon it's 20 to 25 percent. That's what I reckon. That's a, that's a rough estimate from just visuals. And hey, I'm happy with that. I'm going to work with it. Yeah. But anyway, guys, once these are, are packed in ox casings, it's all mixed together. They're going to go outside and they're going to get smoked. And I've got a particular recipe in mind to make a, a paella with them, amongst other things. Let's see what happens. Let's have a crack. kilos of it there that's awesome I'm gonna keep it in for probably not more than an hour um, but in 20 minutes I'm gonna flip them over I don't want the temperature to get over a hundred degrees Celsius um, yeah it should be good oh, good oh yes we got Kranskis that's mad. Now that's a win. How good's that? I know it's only a small batch, but it's a bit of a test run just to work out all the flavors and all that and all that good smoking. Paella. Let's put that together now, see what you reckon. Well, it's a glorious day. Last part of this project, Yabbies. 
this dam has produced for me in the past. I'm going to hit up three different dams today. The water might not have warmed up enough. I feel like that really makes a difference. Um, the only other trick I have up my sleeve is to I leave my bait out in the trap overnight um, and for the morning to get skanky, to get pretty filthy because I really do feel that it has a, a positive effect on yabby numbers. Still, how good's that? The trick to this dam producing is that it's shallower and it's not taking as long to warm up. It also could just be that it hasn't been exploited much in recent times, so I'm happy. Baby ones like this, right back to get bigger. Ones like that, that's what I'm after. If I can get about 12 of this size, um, that'll be like, that'll be enough for my recipe. If I get up to 20, that'd be great. If I take more than that, well then to be honest, I'd probably be being greedy for my needs. Oh, we got yabbies. Good. Folks, I know it's the smallest harvest, you know, that I pursue, but there's just something so satisfying about chasing freshwater crayfish of all kinds. Um, I mean, yabbies are the only ones I take for a feed, but I just find them fascinating, you know, just to link to our past. Prehistoric things. And very, very tasty. Beautiful. Lovely specimens there. I think it's stuck into the claws too. That's good. All right, brief ingredients list. We've got the yabbies and the kranskis, the features of the dish. I'm gonna tail these out before I put them in though. We got rice, make sure that you're using a short rice like a borio, not no, no um, long grain or anything like that that you might use in Asian cooking. Tomato paste, saffron, which is the kind of the key flavor to this dish. Garlic, stock, white wine, olive oil, Spanish onions, mushrooms, capsicum, spring onions, and a lemon to finish everything off. You're also gonna need flat bottom pan like this and this is a specialized pile of pan I just picked up but um, there'll be other equivalents that if you have a flat bottom to it should be fine. Fair whack of olive oil and in go the chopped cranky. Once that's stirred in for a minute we're gonna add the onion Mushroom capsicum, teaspoon over of sweet paprika, and a good dollop of tomato puree. We'll do just a bit of extra olive oil. Add the rice all over, and we're going to stir it all the way through so the rice is just evenly coated with 
all of that flavor. I'm gonna just do this for about a full minute to make sure that that is really an even coating. Up a little bit of salt in there. Now, preparing some stock. Saffron, obviously the most expensive and valuable part of this whole feed. And to get the very best out of it, I'm gonna actually just put it in the stock. And let that fully infuse. That way there'll be a bit of an even flavor spread. A bit more, there's gonna be a liter of stock all up. A bit more stock. And just a splash of wine on top too. Try and get all that delicious stock evenly spread through there. I kind of need that heat to be a little bit more evenly distributed around the edge. All right, well it's been going for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna add the Abbey tails just on top, arrange them nicely. Thing. Got some lemons there and just a final bit of garnish to pay homage to the Abbey. Get the Abbey on the front. Mm. Oh, it's got the crust down the bottom. Scraping the pan, but mm. this is insanely good. Only thing I notice is that um, my cooking service, beg your pardon, my cooking service wasn't a hundred percent even. So the edges, there's still a bit of um, uncooked rice there, just on the edges. The middle, the eighty percent of it, oh, just insane. Well, folks, I'm going to enjoy my dinner. But um, if you haven't already, guys, consider liking and subscribing. If you got something out of this video, feel free to share it around if you like. You know, there was a bit of effort into this one. I will put effort into more of them. Anyway, big cheers to everyone.